at ShaneStarnsWithDroidModerX.com and many of you guys have heard that AOKP has finally released MR1 build number 2 and uh, it does include some new features but more importantly it covers some new devices so the new devices that are included in build 2 are Galaxy S3, AT&T, T-Mobile, US Cellular, and Verizon versions. It is now supported on Nexus 10 and Nexus 7, and of course the other Nexus devices uh, that have already been included, like the Galaxy Nexus, and of course the Galaxy Nexus versions are also supported. Uh, this review is going to be done on a Verizon Galaxy Nexus, also known as Toro. So most of you guys already know about AOKP, so I'm not going to do a full ROM review. You guys know that it is tweaked and modded, and you're going to get great battery life. You're going to get great performance. Uh, you're also going to get tons and tons of customization. So like the first thing we'll look at here is wallpapers. I know it's not important, but uh, I do like the swag papers. I like the way that they have it set up. There's so many to choose from. And this, of course, is my favorite for now, but I'll probably choose another one later. It comes with a really cool boot animation. So those are some neat little customization features. It comes with the Nova Launcher, and it moves through the screens very fast. So we'll head to Settings, and we'll go down to About Phone. This is Android 4.2.1. So this is the latest version of Android. Uh, it is AOKP Toro JB MR1 build number 2 latest version of AOKP and this is for the Galaxy Nexus like I said they've added some other devices which is really cool uh, it's nice to see Team Kang adding devices on a regular basis hopefully we'll see even more on the next build if we go to ROM control there are some new settings I'm not going to go through all of the settings but if we go into general UI there have been some enhancements made to the custom boot animation picker. So you'll see that it gives you a preview of the boot animation that you're currently running. Uh, if you want to set a custom boot animation, you'll just need to have a boot animation.zip on your SD card and you can click set custom and you'll be able to choose it from there. So that's a nice, neat feature. If we go into lock screen, there's a few changes that have been made. There's an option to hide initial page hints. You can minimize the lock screen challenge so if you have like a circle pattern or pin, you can actually minimize that so it doesn't take up the whole screen whenever you open up the lock screen. And then there's the carousel animation that has been added to the lock screen. Which is pretty cool. There have been some changes to the navigation bar settings. You can actually change the color of the navbar background, which is really neat. So we could change it to blue if we like. That'll make our whole background blue. So that is pretty cool. If you're running a blue theme, that would be very useful. And also the Recents menu opens a whole lot quicker than before. That's also new in MR1 Build 2. So in the status bar, if we go into signal, uh, something that's new here is an alternative signal style. You can actually go with a gingerbread style. Like so. A new toggle has been added. So if we go to enable toggles, there is now a sound state toggle right here. So we pull down our toggles. Uh, we do have the sound state right now. I have it on vibrate. They're silent and they're sound on. So that's a nice new little feature. Lots of little tweaks and improvements on the customizations. So apparently uh, the option to use the power key as your shutter for whenever you're taking pictures with your camera has also been enabled in this latest build. I can't figure out how to turn that function on. I'll show you guys if I try to take a picture with the shutter button and I looked all through my options and couldn't figure it out but it just turns my screen off so it's not really functioning I don't know if there must be a setting somewhere you guys can leave a comment if you figure that out um, it's probably very obvious and I'm just missing it um, also so the few little bugs that they found so far hiding page hints on the lock screen is not working if the carousel animation is active uh, recent RAM bar is not updating correctly and on the Galaxy S3 variants 
uh, in-call volume adjustment is not working, Wi-Fi tether is not working, and the speakerphone volume level is a bit low. Uh, but other than that, everything here is functioning 100%. As you guys can see, it's very fast and fluid. It gets through the screens um, with ease. So I'll show you guys just a few little settings that I like in AOKP. I know that we've gone over this style ROM plenty of times. You do have the theme chooser that allows you to apply any CM10 AOKP theme from the Play Store on the fly there. In ROM control, if you go into general UI, um, I like the custom carrier label. You can add anything and when you pull this down, at the bottom here, you'll have a custom label. So if I go Droid Modder X, when I pull that down, it says Droid Modder X there at the bottom. I like that a lot. There is the slider here for brightness. It's one thing I really like about AOKP. You can allow 180 degree rotation, which is something that I really like as well. And like I said, we'll just kind of run through these because most of you guys have already seen this stuff. In the power menu, uh, you can turn on the torch toggle. So if you press and hold this, you can turn on your torch, which I like that. Navigation bar, you can add icons. You can add navigation buttons up to seven. And then you can add a custom application, which is a feature that I really like as well. And you can add any custom application. And you'll see it added it there. Battery, I always like to set mine to text only. Clock, I like to set mine to center. LED is really cool. I like this a lot. You can change the color. Uh, you can change the brightness. And then performance control, you're able to overclock your device up to 1,650 megahertz uh, to make your phone basically as fast or faster than a Galaxy S3 uh, or like a, you know, a Galaxy Note 2, which is really neat. Of course, it may not run the best when it's overclocked that high. So guys, that has been AOKP MR1 build number two for the Galaxy Nexus. It's going to be the same on all the other devices. I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to install this. You'll need to make sure that you have the new AOKP ROM and also the G apps. I'll include a link in the description for those. Then you'll want to reboot into recovery. Once in recovery, you're going to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe, cache, swipe to wipe, Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe. Then you'll install AOKP MR1 build number two, swipe to flash. And then you'll install the G apps Jelly Bean 121212 12, signed. Flash those. Once you're finished, you're going to reboot the device. So I'll leave you guys with the boot animation. This has been AOKP MR1 build number two for the Galaxy Nexus and other devices. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out more than you know. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy S3, N7, Nexus 10, and several other devices like the Droid DNA and the Razer HD and all that good stuff. Uh, be sure to check me out at droidmotorx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. And thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.